Hi, my name is Art and welcome to another Bumpai video. And this video is actually a director's cut of some other video that I've posted today as well. Uh, the video itself is called uh, Initial D Second Reality and the video is uh, an animated music video that I made in 2002. And you can see here a Trano Crew production, that's what I called myself back then, was a kind of parody on uh, the Future Crew who created a demo uh, for the PC called Second Reality. And this uh, demo was something that blew my mind in the early 90s. I think it was 1993 when they released it and soon after I watched the demo. Now, I was going to make an animated music video for some sort of uh, anime convention in 2002 and I thought like Heck, why not Initial D? I'm uh, really fond of Initial D, I'm a big fan of Initial D. And I thought, what could I do with that? And then I came up with this concept of doing a parody on the Second Reality demo. So everything is kind of synced with uh, the visuals of that demo. And back in those days, the only thing I could do was just have my old PC next to me, watch the demo over and over again, trying to match all the music, the music score, the visuals and try to match that with whatever video I had. And this is like, I think, the second or third video that I actually ever um, created. So in this video I'll be uh, doing the, the director's cut twice. So this time I'm going to talk about creation of the video, how I did that. And here you can see the visuals, initial D, second reality. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I took from Initial D. You can see here in the, uh, in, in the video content that uh, it's a bit blocky, blurry. Uh, that's because I had to create it um, as an S-Video uh, format and then deliver it as an S-Video CD. I mean, this is 2002 and people weren't able to burn DVDs that easily. So they said, like, okay, S-Video for everyone. And I had to create it in this very low resolution, and that's also why it looks a bit weird interlaced. Now, also, uh, in this video I took a lot of time to match the timing with the music. You can see that the visuals are really well timed. Whenever the car bounces up and down, it will just match the music. It's now me babbling on top of it but you will be able to see that in the video that I've posted and I'm linking that video here as well. Um, also, this video was uh, entering the animated music video competition in a 2002 uh, anime contest. I didn't win. Someone else had a very nice video and uh, took the first place, I took second place which was a bit of a shame because I put a lot of time and effort in it. And then I thought, next year I'll do another video. And I did. didn't win either back then. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, there are always people that are better than me, I guess. Um, I really did my best and uh, I hope that you also will love it. Maybe it also has to do with the fact that this is Initial D. Not everyone loves Initial D like I do. And especially not at an anime convention where a lot of people are really into, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the standard anime and not the Initial D anime. But yeah. Okay, this is the break. Uh, and normally uh, the demo continues onwards and I'll speak about that after this and then I'll tell you more about the demo itself. This is the, the credits. I tried to mimic the credits as well with uh, whatever was in the demo. A similar setup, similar scrolling. And there's a lot of stuff here like uh, the music is still by Purple Motion and Skaven who created it for the demo. However, the graphics are uh, either done by me or they are done by Suguchi Shieno. And of course, everything is supposed to be, uh, let's say, um, so everything is actually supposed to be uh, uh, copyrighted by uh, Apex Mode as well and the Future Crew. But you know, I'm, I'm posting this and probably they will allow to uh, have me post this to, the, to, to YouTube, I guess. Uh, you can see that I've created it in Adobe uh, and, and Virtual Dub. Uh, those were the tools back in the day that I had present Adobe 8, if I'm correct. <laughs> yeah. 
copyright 2002 bumpy at trano.org wow do i even uh, have that email address does it still get me anything i don't know you can send me an email and then we'll see whether it arrives okay let's start over again with the next iteration and i'm going to tell more about the demo itself so this demo that's uh, uh by uh the Future Crew, and the Future Crew created a demo called Unreal, and that kind of blew everyone's mind, and I think they made it in 2000, uh, sorry, in 1992. And then in 1993, they had a follow-up demo called uh, Second Reality, and Second Reality was like, uh, voted to one of the best demos ever. I think for the 90s, it was by far the best created demo. And these demos were just simply uh, a couple of uh, lads having a computer, having uh, a sound card and uh, trying to show off what they could do with it. And I was part of a demo group as well called the Kip Brigade. Um, just look for it. You can find a couple of demos that I've contributed to as well. I've made a lot of music back in the day. I did 3D objects. I did some graphics stuff. Yeah, I did my share in that. Now, the Future Crew really inspired me and my friends to form our own demo group, and that's how it worked back in the day. You saw someone else's work and then thought like, oh wow, I really want to do that as well. So, uh, uh, yeah, one of my best mates called uh, Mux, he also uh, comments on my YouTube videos uh, regularly. He, uh, uh, he was one of the programmers in that demo group, so uh, pretty awesome. Well, uh, as you can see, I've created a scroller. Uh, this actually is a part of the uh, scene where some flying object is flying over and then you get like an explosion. And I timed that exactly with the arrival of the Trano from uh, third stage. Now here we have like uh, the, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a demon, I guess. I. I only took the Trano for a short while for that demon, but it really had to match the music and therefore I cut in earlier instead of waiting for uh, a couple of seconds, 20 seconds or something. Um, I couldn't do any vector cubes with uh, my footage, but uh, I guess the drifting uh, A86s uh, would do. As you could have guessed, this is uh, obviously uh, taken from second stage where Vataru and Takumi are battling against each other. And all the uh, video footage was taken from uh, uh, actually fan subs. I did own the DVDs, but I didn't have uh, the necessary equipment back then to rip the DVDs and put that onto my PC. So I took a couple of fan subs. That's also why it's a bit limited to only that footage. Uh, I tried to match the um, uh, tunnel with uh, the turbo from Waterroot back there and here I'm timing like the landing of the car with the sounds. Really, really well done if I say so. Okay, so here are some, uh, uh, what are those called? I would say they're moiré uh, uh, cubes, a moiré uh, effect. I couldn't do that either in the uh, in video. Yeah, and this is one of the best scenes of Initial D where actually uh, water is taken by surprise. They level out the sand during a couple of their runs and uh, I thought it would be a very nice match here as well. And you can see that we have some sort of uh, troll-like creature already in the demo uh, and I didn't match that entirely. And now we get into uh, the end credits again and you can see now how uh, uh, everything matches together again. Right, that's, uh, I guess that's it. That's uh, what I can tell you about my uh, second reality initial D uh, video that I created years and years ago. It was 15 years ago, man, time flies. Um, if you liked it, just leave a comment below, um, share it if you would like to. And also, if you have made any animated music videos, just let me know, I would be very interested in, uh, in your creations. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Ba 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 bam
Ah!